Hi there, welcome to my video on how Howdy can enhance your Thinkific student learning experience. In this video, I'm going to go over three things. One, uh, what is Howdy as a video conferencing, interactive uh, collaboration and chat tool? Two, why Howdy can be a great alternative or supplement to what you're doing for teaching live lessons. And three, give you a demo of Howdy and talk a little bit about pricing so that you can decide whether this is something uh, you'd like to add on to your existing um, business or not. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to talk a little bit about Howdy. Um, Howdy is a new uh, app integration within the Thinkific App Store. Um, Howdy really allows you to merge and blend this idea of Zoom, which is video conferencing, and most people are already using Zoom, but taking your Zoom uh, video conferencing lessons to the next level by adding uh, game-based elements such as badges and social sharing so that students can kind of track their progress amongst each other in the group. Uh, they can add that to their LinkedIn profile and uh, job recruiters can see how they're, do they're doing in a course and see the progress that they've made uh, to decide whether they want to reach out to a candidate or not. The other cool thing about Howdy is that it really allows you to blend or merge this idea of scheduling and um, collaborating and chatting and making announcements that you would in a Facebook group or in a Slack group or in an online forum into Howdy. So I'll show you all that later, but I just want to give you a bit of an overview of how it works. So the idea is it really uh, takes the Zoom uh, that most people are using for uh, live lessons, but also adds this element of uh, chat, um, social sharing, so that they connect to all their social media tools to sort of share their progress. Uh, LinkedIn is also another part of that social sharing, and then allows people to um, chat with each other uh, within different groups. So Howdy allows you to set up private groups for your courses so that, um, you can uh, allow your students to not just video chat with each other, but also uh, chat and then schedule future sessions as well. So they're trying to really bring all the different tools into one um, app and it's all within the browser so that there's no software download or um, messy uh, logging. Um, so it, it really is very simple and you'll see sort of later on in my demo. So then two, I wanna cover why you would wanna use Howdy. Well, if you think about it, most people are using Zoom or whichever else, there's tons of um, you know software out there for video conferencing, but really Howdy is taking online learning and live teaching to the next level by blending in all these different tools together all within your browser. It allows for scheduling really easily so that you don't have to send out a poll. There's a poll feature within. Uh, you can choose to make your groups private or public. And really the most important thing about Howdy is it really is focused on how each session can be uh, tracked towards future learning goals. So the idea is we really want to view each session not just as a session, but really as a measurement towards how students are doing, how students are learning, and how they are meeting their goals. Because the idea is we're blending this idea of games and um, gamification, which is popular in the uh, field of online learning, to really make this interactive, to make this sort of like a motivation and check-in tool for students in the classroom. The idea is when students are uh, participating in a live lesson, they get to sort of see how each other are doing and each session they are awarded points. So really it's kind of like that motivation and um, self kind of like progress tracker built into a video conferencing platform. Uh, and so if you are already using Zoom, you may already be thinking, well, I don't know if I really need Howdy um, because Zoom works fine. And yes, Zoom is great uh, for many purposes, but really Howdy is about focusing on the learning experience um, by tracking each live session, awarding points, and sort of giving students badges for the goals that they're meeting. So I like that Howdy in that way is really focused on that 
sort of measurement and tracking of progress. Um, if we think about online learning, a lot of it um, can be very passive. And so when we're teaching, um, this is a way to sort of encourage students, motivate students and reward them for the work that they're doing towards reaching those learning goals. Uh, so now I want to go into the demo and how you may find Howdy in the Thinkific App Store. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your Thinkific site. I'm already logged into my partner account. And then I'm going to go into my uh, dashboard here. And I'm going to click on Apps. And this will take me to the um, App Store. And I'll look for Howdy. And then uh, I can choose to it'll tell me what the requirements are. So I should uh, double check that this meets the requirements of the computer and also web browser that I'm using because it's all browser based. So once that's all good and done, you can kind of read the overview if you like. If not, no big deal. You can kind of skip over that and just watch this demo. But if you like Howdy and you want to try it out, there is a free plan and then there are paid plans. So the cool thing is when you click on install, it will take you to Howdy, um, where you can sign up with uh, your Google or Facebook login and then get started. So the cool thing about Howdy is that it's really super easy to use. And I really mean that honestly, because there's not, like sometimes with Zoom, you give people links and it, you, it takes you to a link that says you have to download the software and students get confused about where the download is happening and how to launch the software. I mean, with Howdy, you just click on the link and then it takes you directly to this live session. So let's uh, take a look at an example that I've uh, created already. And then um, there will be a part two of this video where I'll actually demo and show you how the actual uh, session is. So if I uh, look at here, first of all, I just want to go through the fact that you can kind of even join. Um, these are public groups. So if you want to make a public group in each of these categories, uh, you can. So think of these as like a self-study group. Um, on all these different topics, if you'd like to join and kind of check it out before you create your own group. Because sometimes it might be easier just to check out other people's group um, before you figure out uh, whether this is something you want to uh, try for yourself. And it's also fun in a way if you're interested in like meeting new people, um, learning about something new, you can just join one of these groups. And so there's you know a lot of different topics you can choose from. And if you don't see one and you want to start one, you can feel free to start one for the public. Uh, but if you're doing this specifically for your course, you'll want to set up a group uh, specifically to your course instead of making it open to anyone. Because maybe you're having a live lesson specific to the course topic, and it would be kind of weird if you made it to the public and anyone just joined it without any kind of context. So the cool thing is you can click on Create a New Group. Uh, give your group a name. I'm going to give it a test name, give it some description, and then uh, give a choose the topic that uh, it belongs in. You can make ma many, choose many topics. I'm just going to choose one for the sake of time. And then if this is private, make sure I check on private. And then once everything looks good, I'm going to click on add group. And then I'm now going to show you um, my groups that I've created. So uh, I created that test group. And then now I created also a Thursday Hacker Hours group. So the cool thing about this is what I'm doing is uh, for my Thursday Hacker Hours virtual meetup, we uh, usually just use Zoom or uh, some other video conferencing platform. Uh, but with Howdy, we're really taking this meetup to the next level and um, creating a little bit of a different experience for our attendees. Um, so what I've done is I've created this room for our upcoming meetup and it has a meeting ID and it tells you when it starts. And if anything changes, I can always click on the edit button and then go to edit room and click on the time. And then do I want to make it recurring? And I can say, sure, every Thursday. And I can say every Thursday until the end of September and then uh, maximum number of participants is 15. So once that looks good, I'm going to click and save on edit room. And so now uh, this is 
um, active and this is ready to go for my Thursday meetup. Now, some of the elements you saw might have been a little confusing, so I want to uh, go back to creating a new room to um, show you a little bit more about sort of what those features mean. And so the other thing I forgot to mention is, so for this room, I could have a bit of an interactive uh, element and chat feature so that whereas Zoom, you just have a link and people click on the link for that live session. But if I am in this group, I can have, I can start the chat, I can have an announcement. So there's a lot of different uh, features that I can take advantage of to sort of get my students excited, to get the attendees excited and really start the discussion. So uh, let's just go back to uh, creating a new group so that you can see sort of how some of the um, features with polling works and uh, some of the settings. So let's just create a new group test two. Give it a discussion, technology, business, personal development, and keep this as a private group because I'm not ready to uh, offer a public group yet. So I'll add this group. And then, so here they're gonna ask if I would like to set up a time and then I can set up the poll here. And then cool thing is I can pick the times. Um, I can uh, pick which times here really work for me. And then, um, so here I would uh, pick the time that works for me. And then, so I can pick a time that really works for me. And then when I'm done, I'll click close. But the main thing is I want to copy this link and I can either share it with a friend through email or copy the link and then send them the poll. So either way, um, I should, uh, make it easy for my attendees by uh, inputting their email and sending them a link uh, so that they can vote on whether uh, when our next follow-up uh, meetup should be. So that's one of the cool things I like about Howdy. It really, it kind of takes all those features of scheduling and organization and collaboration, chatting, and builds it into this one video conferencing platform. So if that's cool with me, uh, then I can create my first video chat room. And then this is where you can decide when do you wanna start it. So like, let's just say you get the results of a poll and everyone says Friday at nine is when they're ready to meet. So then I can select the date and say Friday, and then I can select the time, nine to 10, and then do I wanna make it recurring? And then the number of participants and then the room is created. So now I've created another room for this group. So I can have the idea is I can have different cohorts for different courses. So Thursday Hacker Hours might be my coding meetup group, uh, video chat, my test group might be my Thinkific demo group and test two could be another group. So I can really uh, make multiple sessions uh, for all these different courses that I may sell and or teach online. And it's really fun and it's really easy and it's pretty simple. Like um, it works very similarly to Zoom, but really adds that element of badges and uh, social sharing uh, to this platform. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave a comment, uh, ask me some questions about how uh, you can enhance your Think of Extreme learning experience and uh, let me know how you like Howdy. Uh, thanks again for watching and I will talk to you soon.